right, there we go. Hey, everybody, I'll be back in just a minute for the exciting conclusion of yesterday's mailbag. It probably won't be more than a minute or two later than 10 o'clock, so I'll see you then. Just going to grab some coffee and the rest of the stuff I need to do it. Okay, let's see. I know you don't see me yet. I'm on my way over there, but uh, we're testing the mic. So let's see if the mic's working. Let me know on the Discord. And I will be present in one moment. Just wanted to adjust that camera upstairs, grab my coffee. I think we have everything else we need. Fingers crossed. Oakley Oakley. Have a seat right here for a minute. Hi, everybody. All right, let's check first off on Discord to see if everything looks like it's going okay. So, where are we at? Look at those little kids sleeping upstairs. Aren't they cute again? Oh, well, a muffled mic. That's a bit of a mystery. Whoa. Hey. Hey. Bit of a mystery, but let me check a couple things real quick. Okay, nothing changed there. Oh, there it is. I think that's it. Hang on. I wonder what changed that. Testing. Okay, is that better? 
Uh, I'm going to have to remember to keep an eye out for that next time. There's a little volume setting, and I don't know how it got changed, because it's been the same for a while, but I think it did get changed, and I think now we set it to the high level. So tell me if that's better. I'm glad we check this every time. We're learning stuff. I think that's what we learned. Let's see if that's not right. Okay, much better. Okay, good. Yeah, I see it. All right, excellent. Good. Well, in that case, let me check the camera angles and eh, good enough. I know I could be a little closer to the camera, um, but uh, I didn't bring a pillow and this is pretty comfy for me. So let's see what happens. If we get a whole bunch of little tiny things, uh, maybe I'll move in there a little closer and we'll see about it. All right. Meanwhile, we can watch the kittens together. Hey, buddy, don't drink my coffee. Did you put your nose in my coffee? Let me uh, also check how much the camera covers. Uh, okay, from side to side, plenty. Good. Good. Okay. All right, we're going to work with that for now. Uh, news, there really couldn't have been much news since yesterday. I'll tell you, uh, DJ and I went into the city with our friends, the Scooters. Uh, I shouldn't, we, we met them there. Uh, when I say the city, we went um, into Queens, which I'm told doesn't really count as the city, and I guess I understand that. Um, it sort of felt like um, near north suburbs uh, in the in Chicago do. Um, so uh, I get it. Anyway, it was really cool. It was fun. We had a good time. And uh, what we did was we just went there to go to the uh, there's a Hindu temple there that has a temple canteen where uh, you can go eat. And DJ really, really, really wanted the food. So that's what we went in for, was to have food at the temple. Um, not that, you know, neither of us are Hindu, um, but she was obviously raised um, in that sort of place. And uh, the food that they, they put on at the temple is apparently exactly what DJ loves. And it was stuff that I recognized from when we were, you know, in India. So it's a good time. Um, a lot of the stuff that DJ, you know, uh, tries to make for herself here all the time, but it's just not the same as uh, having somebody, you know, like her mom make it that, that just has been doing it their whole lives. So the people at the temple, uh, they did a good job. Anyway, it was fun. So that was that. Um, that is why we cut things a little short yesterday uh, was to facilitate that. And I'm glad we did. Uh, I barely got all my stuff together before we hit the road. So it worked out pretty well. Um, sorry about that, though. Uh, otherwise, there's not a whole lot going on. Oh, oh, but there was one big thing this morning, uh, which is that the kittens upstairs, all four of them, all four of the Till's little babies, ate uh, real food this morning. Um, they were getting real bitey, and the, their little teeth have started to come in. So uh, I decided to put the food over by their box this morning. And when I did, I, I did start each of them the way that we do with kittens. I take just a tiny bit of food and I basically stick it to the roof of their mouth. And then if they're ready, when they eat that, they will just keep on looking for more and uh, keep eating. And you can either feed them off your fingers, depending on whether they're cool with that. Or uh, if they're really good, they'll just start eating right out of the bowl. If you put them in front of the bowl, you know, right in front of the bowl, and then put a little on the roof of their mouth, and they'll eat that, and then they'll just go to the bowl and keep eating. Go, you know, put their head down. And keep, it has to be right there. They're not going to go walk around and look for it. But if it's right there for them to take the next bite, uh, a lot of times if they're ready to eat, that's what they'll do. And this morning, all four of them did. Um, it almost also looked like, uh, I think it was a ledger that looked like he almost was going to start eating all by himself without me even putting any in his mouth. Um, but then he didn't, and I put a little in, and that got him going. So, yeah, all four of them ate this morning. They didn't eat a lot, and I wouldn't expect to see them continue to eat on a regular basis yet. They've got a week or so before that's uh, expected. But uh, big milestone, real big milestone. First food for everybody. So um, that was that. Other than that, there's definitely not anything that would count as news. Um, and there's no letters at all, so just boxes. I guess that means we could just uh, sort of get to it, I think. Yeah. So let's, uh, yeah. 
Excellent. So this I recognize uh, from the little pieces of art on it, and I think that you should as well, if you can see them from all the way over there. I don't know why you guys are sitting so far away. Feel free to pull your chair up a little closer if you want. Um, but uh, this is from Lisa G, quite clearly. And I expect it to be laser pointers. Let's find out if it's not. Ooh, nicely wrapped, though. Look at that. That's almost, uh, it's got all this, this plain, it's got the note, so that's nice. We'll read that in just one second. It's got all this plain paper, and you open that up, and in the, in the middle, you got this bright red brick. Uh, it's just it's kind of cool, cool effect. All right, so let's take a look in here. Yes, as expected, these are definitely laser pointers. Uh, Lisa uh, has been sending these. Uh, Beans and Cheeto have been sending these for every class uh, for some time now. And so uh, here we have Ledger, uh, Doubloons, Farthing, Quid. Ooh, and Till gets one in a special plastic uh, bubble. It's got her picture on it. So she's going to really, they're all going to enjoy that quite a bit, I think. Perfect. I don't have any particular place to put this now that they have two little tissue beds instead of just the one from yesterday. Uh, so I'll just set it aside and we'll start opening boxes until we find some place to put endowments. Which one looks likely to be a good endowment box, I wonder? Well, honestly, it's the one that's all the way at the bottom, but let's dig down to it. So let's start here. Okay, this one uh, says right here in the return address, pound cake. Um, care of Kitten Academy. So I know this is from Pound Cake. Uh, that's P-O-U-N-D-E-C-A-Y-K-E. -E. So like ye olde Pound Cakey. Um, and that is, uh, ooh, oh man, thank you too much. But um, wow, I see. This is uh, this came through Woot Gourmet. So I guess Woot must have had a deal that you managed to pick. I remember there was a time when I used to just go to Woot like every day. I had to see what their bargain deal was. And I got a lot of good stuff on there too. I think that was actually before it was owned by Amazon. Is that right? Was there a time before it was owned by Amazon? Anyway, I haven't thought about that place in a long time. Um, but yeah, there was some great stuff to find there. And you found some great stuff and you sent it to me, uh, which appears to be a box. This entire box is just packed full of Stroopwafels, uh, Rip Van Stroopwafels, uh, the caramel and vanilla, which I guess would be the basic Stroopwafel flavor. And it's just, there's just tons of these boxes. Each box is, of course, not just one Stroopwafel. It says four pack of uh, individually wrapped Stroopwafels. Wow. That's, and I'm hungry right now, so I want to eat these right now. Pound cake, thank you so much. That is really nice of you. You know, I do have a love for Stroop Waffle. It's funny, I know I've said, um, and you guys, some of you know, but I never, oh, I, um, I went right past your note, Lisa. Gee, I'm sorry, we'll come right back to it. Uh, I wasn't thinking, but the, the Stroop Waffle is something I learned about from doing Kitten Academy. The first time I ever had one, it was sent in to mailbag. Uh, first time I ever heard of one, it was sent in the mailbag. Of course, it, I was instantly in love with them. They're awesome. Uh, all right. Going back around to Lisa G's uh, card here, we have a lovely painting of two kitties sleeping uh, with um, little mice jumping over their heads. I think they're supposed to be like the cow that jumped over the moon, but they're the mice that jumped over the stars uh, or counting sheep or something. But anyway, it's very cute. And it, inside it says, hello, Kitten Academy. How wonderful to see Mama Till's assets uh, thriving and exercising their little legs and raising their voices in harmony. Uh, spelled like, you know, money, harm, harmony. Uh, yeah, I guess you could say harmony. We'll do it. Okay. Uh, Till's assets thriving and exercising their little legs and raising their voices in harmony. It's no coincidence they're doing so well since they have foster parents that are... Uh, God sent. Okay, no more puns. In close, please find the usual endowments for the petty cashers. As always, thanks for all you do for the mom, cats, and babies. Lisa G. Cheeto and Beans. P.S. The picture reminds me of Till. It does look kind of like Till, especially in that it's got a big head and it's a tabby. Uh, so that's cute. Uh, thank you so much. I'm so glad we saw this note because those puns were fantastic. 
Just fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, and thank you to Pound Cake for the Stroop Waffle. And this is box two of two, so I don't think we opened this one yet. Put this aside for just a minute and pull out the one that we were aiming for, this big light box that may be a perfect place to start collecting endowments. Put these here for a minute. I'm just going to open this over here since it's awkward to pick up. On the outside it says, oh, here we go. It says, Kitten Academy, old and in the way. So either somebody is trying to tell me something or it is from someone named Old and in the Way, presumably on our Discord, not in real life. Uh, like in Top Gun when she says, Maverick, did your parents not like you? Uh, so could be either way. And the notes were just falling out the bottom of the box. So before we've even fully opened it, the note says, hello from Arizona. Please use this. As you see fit, love what you do to support mamas and babies old and in the way on Discord since the coffee kittens. Oh my goodness, that's a long time uh, for me to not immediately recognize your name. So uh, old and in the way on Discord since the coffee kittens. Thank you so much. You do say your real first names here, but I, I know, I, no, I guess we're cool with that. It's Dave and Annette, uh, old, old and in the way. Dave and Annette are old and in the way. Uh, that's not a judgment. That's just uh, their names. So... Oh, wow. Oh, man. We haven't seen one of these in a while. This is great. This is going to be fun. Uh, yeah. How, wow. Why has it been a long time since we've seen a contemplation station, a.k.a. the cat-headed scratcher bed? Uh, yeah. I, I don't think we've seen one of these in Connecticut, have we? Maybe one. Yeah, it's been a while, so that's going to be fun. Thank you so much. I'm excited to put this out and see the kitties hanging out in it. They just, they all love these things so much. I mean, it's basically the fancy version of what they're dying to sit in right here, right now. So, uh, I love it. Uh, old and in the way. Thank you very, very much. I, uh, I really appreciate that. And now, that's the perfect box uh, for us to put the rest of the endowments into. Although that's not necessarily an endowment. I, I think we're actually going to use it here. And then if it is endowed, it'll be because somebody really loved it and we wanted to send it home with them. So I'm going to take that out. Okay. Now we're ready to keep rolling, aren't we? I'm going to have a little coffee, though. Mm. Yeah. Oh, man, the Contemplation Station. That's a great one. Classic. I love it. I'm very excited to see what new kittens are going to do with one of those. All right, this is interesting. Heavy. It says Kitten Academy. And it's come here from Canada, apparently. Oh, and I didn't cover up an address on the back, apparently. Good thing I'm so far from all of you. You probably didn't see it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, man, that smells great. What smells so good in here? All right, let's see. Well, there is a newspaper to start with. I love it. Oh, oh man, you sent me a challenge, an extra challenge level, though. This one appears to be in French. So, uh, ooh, that's going to be fun. <laughs> oh my goodness, these house prices. What? All right, I don't have to, uh, I'm sure that we're all feeling that. I, you read about it online sometimes, but ooh, it's right there in front of me for this real estate ad. And the prices are the only part I can read because it's all in French. So, okay. Uh, anyway, let's keep going here. Hang on. <clears throat> Here we go. A big pink note. Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Okay to read on stream. Fantastic. Let's do exactly that. It says, thank you very much. And it's written in a crazy font. And wow, something that just really smells nice in there. Uh, let's see. So it says here, uh, thank you very much. It's a perfect time to thank you for the nice things that you do and a perfect time to let you know your thought the world of too. Oh, that's really sweet. So you've also written a note here that says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, My husband and I delight in watching K.A. with our cat Stanley, a.k.a. Stan the Man. We wanted to send some items that we hope you can use. We thought the dryer sheets would help considering the laundry you and DJ must do with all the receiving blankets and such. That must be what smells so good. Ooh. Oh, Wow, the dryer sheets that must be, um, I don't know. Well, anyway, there's a cat and a dog on it. 
designed for pet owners, it says. How about that? Pet hair and lint guard. Well, I know that that's a constant struggle with DJ with her scrubs and, uh, and other work clothes, trying to go to work without any pet hair on her at the hospital. The pet hair's somewhat frowned upon. So I wonder if that actually helps pull some of it out. That'll be interesting. Uh, it smells great, though, whatever the case. And you say the deodorizing powder should help with bad poops when they happen. Oh, double protection. Interesting. All right, cool. Uh, it looks like it is an arm and hammer, so baking powder based. Yes, indeed, I see bicarbonate, the sode. Uh, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that, but that's what it says. So there we go. I'm just reading the letters, okay, folks? That's the best I can do. Perfect. I think that will be helpful. Uh, please let us know if the items are useful. We will send more. We take just as much enjoyment sending these gifts as we do watching you open them during mailbag or cat Christmas, as we jokingly refer to it. Your stream motivated me to get involved with a local cat rescue here in Ottawa. That's so sweet. Keep up the possum work. Warm regards from Jennifer, Chris, and Stanley, of course. And then uh, there's a name here. I think it's Chatlos, C-H-A-T-L-O-S. Is that right? Um, oh, you know what? That's got to be your last name. I'm sorry. I don't usually read those. Not that it really matters, but uh, I apologize if that's the case. I was going to assume it was your Discord name, but no, I don't think that's right. Too late now. All right. Uh, moving right along, uh, Jennifer, Chris, and also Stan the Man. Thank you so much. That's really, really sweet of you. And uh, yeah, that's a good idea, actually. I don't know um, if we've ever tried... No, I think we have. I think DJ tried um, baking soda in the litter box once upon a time, and it's a good idea. So it's good for us to try it again, too, though. This one, especially the fact that it's uh, got the little things right on there, it says it's for the litter box, so it may uh, be even more effective somehow. So I'm excited to try that out. Perfect. Uh, either way, I have taken to using uh, baking soda in the uh, in the rugs and in the upholstery when I clean it. Um, I don't think it's an... Oh, Custard. Wow. Custard just had a big uh, wrestle with uh, Raindrop right there, and she ran off. I think he's playing. It looked like playing. Otherwise, he probably would have pursued her. Uh, what was I saying? I was saying, um, oh, so I don't just sprinkle it on top of the rugs, though, because I don't think that's as effective. It probably helps a little bit, but what I usually do is sort of work it in with some uh, mist, like a mist of water, that's definitely play, of, uh, of water. And then uh, I get it all back out again with the big rug cleaner that, that does the deep cleaning, and that makes a huge difference in the way things smell. Uh, it's fantastic. So, uh, so yeah, exciting. I don't think I can do a wet mist in the litter box, though. <laughs> There's plenty of that going on already. So let's, uh, let's see. All right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm excited to try both of those. They smell mm, fantastic. So that's good. Okay. This box just says Kitten Academy on the outside. And on the inside... Interesting, tiny little items here. What could it mean? Let's see. There's some notes. There we go. The note says, Enjoy, not found... Whoop, no, okay, let me try again. Enjoy, not found a battery-operated toy, toys for anyone, but charged by USB, battery-operated toy on wire cutter list and others. Uh, please, fully charged before you, seen in action with other fosters, start two-and-a-half-month-old kittens, KMA have had similar now you have the best from breezy melody one oh thank you i think you're referring to this little guy the pixie mouse interactive pet toy uh which i will show everybody here we go you well okay or i won't show everybody i'll try to show everybody okay it's packed in here this is somewhat familiar because I believe we have seen this very mouse before, and it is very active. If anything, uh, yeah, two and a half months might be right because it goes wild. It's a, it's a mouse. I'm holding it by a little tail that's clear. It's a little hard to see because the tail is clear. But the reason the tail is clear is because it lights up various uh, colors, and it's uh, sort of like a fiber optic-y uh, thing. Also, as you mentioned, there's a place to plug it in for the USB charge. And then what it does is runs around with the big wheels. And because of its shape, when it hits a wall or something, it kind of naturally flips itself over and goes the other way just fine. 
That's, uh, it's very nice. It's fun. It's a very fun little toy. And like I said, as I recall, the only reason that we don't see ours out more often is it is way uh, super hyper. So uh, we'll try it out and see if I remember it right. And if I do or if I don't, these kids might still really enjoy it. Uh, you also say, uh, kittens and Mr. A can never have enough toys. Uh, let's see. No, uh, discard old baby blankets, check if doubles or keep for quantity. Call Guinness Records someday. <laughs> okay, from Breezy Melody. All right. Uh, your way of taking notes like is, uh, I don't know, like a short order cook would have trouble following some of it, I think. Uh, you must have um, you must have done something where you where you had to take uh, a lot of notes and uh, and really develop a little bit of a shorthand for it. I can tell. So uh, I think you're saying I must have a record number of baby blankets though, and that does seem true at this point. It definitely feels true. These are beautiful. This is a lovely green color, uh, as you say, uh, baby blanket. It says minky blanket. That's an interesting way to put it. They do they are soft like mink. It's got little uh, designs in it, like a herringbone and uh, stars and crowns for some reason. It looks really cool. I like it. Okay, that's that one. There's one more thing in here that is a mystery, and there may be another note tucked in here, too. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oop. There is another note. The last note says... Uh, new caddy, most baby blankets, or most different pattern baby blankets. Yes, uh, bring attention to animal foster needs. Oh, that's an idea. Uh, quality baby blankets better than made for pets. All good. Meows, trills, everyone from Breezy Melody One. Breezy Melody One, thank you. So, uh, yeah, um, yeah, maybe we could set that kind of a record. Hang on, there was something I remembered in there. Bring attention to animal foster needs. If so. Uh, I guess I was going to have to probably mention this at some point anyway. I meant I wanted to ask if it was okay to mention, but I think it is. Uh, I can't imagine it isn't. And like I said, you'd find out this week anyhow, uh, which is that this week we're going to have, I guess, a videographer stop by because Dawes, that's the Dan Danbury Animal Welfare Society, they're the shelter that we work with, uh, Dawes wants to do a short little video on us for their gala this year uh, that will play at their gala. I think that's really sweet. So um, it's it's wonderful, and it just I thought of it because you said bring attention to animal foster needs, and it's so sweet for them to do that to sort of bring attention to us um, for you know bring attention to them. It it really works out. So. Uh, so yeah, sometime this week, if you pay attention, you may see somebody running around with a, a real nice camera uh, that actually knows what they're doing, unlike me, and filming the kittens. So that's the coolest thing about it. They said they want to do an interview, but their plan is, well, I am answering the interview questions to have the footage be mostly of the kittens, which is perfect. I mean, let's talk about people that really get it, that we're on the same page 100%. It's, uh, it's perfect. So... So, uh, the last thing that you sent, uh, Breezy Melody One, are these little atomic, it says atomic rubber bouncing balls. That's exactly how I would describe them. Uh, and the, because they've got these weird little atomic shapes to them, they bounce in unpredictable and unexpected ways, and the kittens are going to love those as well. Uh, so perfect. So now we have a nice box to collect stuff in that's sort of for general use. I will put these in there, and I'll put this with my paper. I know I have some notes set aside. Oh man, every time I move it, there's that smell just gets released again. It's such a great smell. That smells really nice. Okay. Mm. All right. All right. We got a few more boxes here to do yet. So next up, another one with a customs declaration that appears to be from overseas this time. There's some arrows. Oh, uh, did I cover everything up on this one? I don't know. Yeah, good enough, I think. All right, something is sort of uh, crunching around in here. I guess we'll see. Ooh. All right, uh, good. So your label about where to open it was uh, worked out very well, and we recognize exactly what's going on in here, but where is the note for us? Two. Oh, is there a one? There is a one. All right, good. I can do numbers. 
All right. Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Hope you are both well and working hard. Uh, I kind of am. I'd, I'd love to get a chance to talk to everybody about what I've been up to uh, lately that's been uh, making me so tired in the mornings, among other things. Uh, so I, and, uh, I'll mention it, but, um, uh, not to get off topic right now, uh, I've been doing coding, but I've just recently started instead of doing most of the coding myself, describing what I want to an AI and letting it do the work. And it's frankly incredible. It's a great tool. It's a, it's a fantastic tool. So, um, enclosed as usual. Yes, indeed. KA name rings with balls. I like that you use the word crocheted there so I don't have to wonder uh, whether it's knit. <laughs> uh, enclosed as usual, K.A. named rings with crocheted balls and replacement biscuits, which I ate last time. That must be the little crunchy sound I heard in there. Uh, three, something special as a keepsake. Oh gosh, I hope that's not the crunchy sound. We'll get to it. Take care, Charlie. I purrs and meows from Weirdo and Kevin. P.S. Uh, as at August 7th, 2023, DJ's birthday is still on its way from being posted. Oh, wow. Uh, DJ's birthday stuff still on its way from the post on 3rd July. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, I hope I just, my immediate gut uh, reaction when I read that is to wonder if I have lost it somewhere myself. Uh, that seems unlikely, though. I hope, I hope that that's not what's happened here. Uh, let's see what else you have. This has a penny in it. Interesting. And this farthing, I see this farthing is a special coin. Is it minted for Queen Elizabeth's coronation in 1953? It was given to me in the year I was born. Also 1953. Now it's for you to keep Charlie. That's so sweet, Charlie. You know, these sort of things have always been really special to me because one of the things that my dad had as his, his dad, dad, my dad had very few hobbies um, besides just sort of watching sports on the TV and relaxing. But one of the things that he was deeply interested in that was one of his hobbies was coin collecting. And I was also therefore very interested in his coin collection, all these little interesting shiny things you know as a kid it's just uh it's super enticing and uh, and so he would teach me about all the different uh types of coins and how they were special and what they meant and uh um the uh you know we had uh pennies that were uh he would call them wheaties and they were pennies manufactured uh in the united states before I'm not going to remember what date it was, but uh, the difference then was that they had a picture of two stalks of wheat on the back. And I just, I love finding those at the time when I was a kid, you know, I'd still very rarely find them in change that I would get from stores and things. And that was really special. So uh, uh, that's really cool. And I will, I will treasure it as a result. So I just want you to know that. Thank you very much for the farthing. I don't, I don't know if I was really aware. I mean, I knew a farthing was basically a penny, but uh, anyway, here we go. Here we have for Till, we have this really beautiful little ball and this cute little pink ring that says Till. And we have one for Ledge. Er, oh, I see. It says Ledge. We wrote Ledge, but it says Ledger. It does say Ledger. I was worried. I'm like, oh no, does this say Ledge? Nope, it's got an R. It's on there. Ledger. Farthing. So cute. Uh, quid, of course. And doubloons, lovely pink for doubloons. Also, we have one <laughs> in here for our fake teaspoon. Aw, and it says teaspoof. I remember, we, as we talked about this online, you were wondering what to name teaspoof, the little orange kitty that is still sitting where I put him that same first day on the stairs, and I see him every day as a result. Uh, teaspoof with an F, like a fake teaspoon is exactly what you decided to name it. I think it is the perfect name for it. Teaspoof, thank you very much for all of those. And I think what you sent uh, are Biscoff. Look at that. We have Biscoff vanilla. We have Biscoff chocolate covered. Oh, And then we have uh, probably what sounded crunchy is a handful of little Biscoff individually wrapped. Those are delicious, and I am excited to um, 
uh, I'm excited to eat them. Thank you very much. And it says almost on it, which I think means uh, almost cut it through the knife guard. I don't know. But um, wow, Biscoff, that's so yummy. I'm going to, I guess, put those into the box of stuff for us. So I can just put those together like this. Here we go. For general use, I should say. Any, either way. And then we can put this back here. We can use it to collect some stuff. Charlie, thank you very much. Uh, I think that these little name rings are the cutest things. And it's so sweet of you to make them for us as well, with the excuse of them being for teaspoon, for tank. Uh, but we know that those, those really are for everybody here to play with. So much appreciated. Uh, which? Oh, that is the box we were using for endowments. It's very big and mostly empty so far. We need to figure that out, but, uh, okay, we'll get there. So I put those in the endowments box. I'm going to have a little more coffee and, mmm, delicious. Okay. Let's move you over just a little so I have some room for these boxes and turn you around, buddy. So people can see your cute little face, maybe, maybe if they're lucky, sticking out. Okay, box one of two we finally arrived at. This appears to be from Bob and Ruth. I think you guys might have guessed that just from the fact it was box one of two. That's sort of a signature from them, isn't it? Sending uh, multiple numbered boxes. I think uh, we don't. We get that once in a while from other people. We get it on the regular from Bob and Ruth. So, let's see here. Bold, no knife guard, but I did not harm the blanket. And it says, note. Aw, okay. Um, good. I think you're, you're saying, please redirect any kitty's uh, endowments if they've already gone home. And then the note has a really beautiful picture of three little kittens. And it says, hi, I'm sorry, four little kittens, I can count. Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ, just a few things for KA, the headmasters, and kitties. The tote uh, that says everything is a meowsing, uh, everything is meowsing, I see, is for Serenity's endowment. Oh, good, she is still here. She's going to enjoy that. Th once again, thank you for all you do, both do, for kitties Bob and Ruth. Okay. So uh, let's see. First off, we have a blanket here. Here we go. Oh, that's pretty. And uh, I like the fact that it's uh, it's pretty and it's sort of like one color. Oh, it says Till on it. I did not see that coming. Look at that. So I guess I know who this one's for. Right there. Beautiful. Oh, she is going to love that. That is just lovely. Great. I love the fact that it's sort of one uh, neutral color. It's going to look good in anybody's room. That's fantastic. Oh, that's so sweet for Till. Okay. Put that over here, I guess, in the endowments. So I don't miss the fact that it says Till when we get to that. I want this to stay open. There we go. So I can continue to put stuff in it. All right. Oh, chew room, baby food. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, you know, um, today we're using up a lot of baby food because I'm not, I didn't want to go out to the store to pick up more chicken for this little guy until tomorrow, but we ran out last night. So today he's on baby food, which he also enjoys quite a bit. Uh, not to say that we need any, we've got quite a bit, but it's, it's wonderful to have some to replenish the stuff that we're going through all the time. This says for puddles. So that one is a little late, but uh, like you say, feel free to redirect to anybody. I, I do. Thank you. Uh, we'll see. If, we have, if I have stuff to mail to Puddles, I will probably set that aside to send her because why not? Oh, I love this. Everything is me a meowsing. Uh, I love this font here. This is like a retro kind of thing. It's very cool. And inside Serenity's, oh, inside Serenity's retro bag, we have a cat bed that is a lovely gray uh, and it's all packed in there. So nice. I'm not going to open it because I'll never get it probably even into the bag after that. We have a Yao Catnip Banana Classic. We have, oh, some springs. But then, oh, we have a Yao Catnip uh, Rainbow. But then, but then, the cool thing I see sitting down here at the bottom of the bag is this. It's an arrow sign that says Serenity. Serenity, that way we could put that pointing right to her room or her adopter can, I suppose. 
Very cute. And let me show you this cool retro font on the bag. It's very cool. Look at that. It makes me want to go roller skating on roller skates. None of these roller blade things. Uh, okay. Whoa, Maggie. Maggie, that was me. Get out. Oh, for crying out loud. She's so on edge around kittens. Go on. Maggie, hey. Maggie, go. All right. Okay, too much hissing. Uh, oh, I'm sorry if all that whistling stuff was right in your ears, basically. I forget about the lav mic when I do stuff like that. So, okay, uh, Mr. A, I've got a new coffee mug. Oh, this is the good kind, too, with a nice kind of lid. And it's got this really cute little black kitty on it. There you go. I hope you can see that. These are fantastic mugs. Uh, we have greenies in the savory salmon flavor. We have, oh, oh, stop, 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 stop. Oh, man, why am I not paying better attention? It's too late now. They've already torn open the bag of food. Uh, fortunately, it's the kind of food that we give them, the, the crunchy food. This isn't it. I didn't pull that out yet. This is Kitty Town Coffee, and it says Columbia, and it says berries, orange, sweet are the flavor notes. That should be fun. So Kitty Town Coffee, and of course, uh, feed cats. Kitty Town Coffee, uh, when you purchase it, it feeds a homeless kitty. How cute. Okay, very sweet. Oh, wow, uh, I don't like that. So I'm going to sit down on the floor now. Okay, now look, the reason they keep jumping in here is because you did send a bag of the dry food that they love, and they've already torn it open. Well, it just took them one second. Now they're going to clean up all the little bits of food that have fallen out into your box. Hang on, we'll, we'll make them do this where you can see what they're doing. Oh, for crying out loud. Stolen. Stolen crunch time, you kids. All right. Uh, thank you, by the way, for the bag of food. I will put this into a plastic. We actually have a plastic container that we keep the food in for them. So the fact that the bag's torn open by them is not going to have us put out in any significant manner. It's just fine. And uh, in fact, I'm going to give them just a couple extra little crunchies here just for fun. There you go, Maggie. Okay. I'm going to put this away, though, otherwise they will be in it the whole time. I guess you guys can still hear me just fine. Uh, I'm just going to stash it somewhere in a cabinet for now, and I'll find a better home for it later. Hmm. Okay. Moving right along. Where are we? Here we go. Okay. Now we got it. All right. So box two. Let's see what that contains. Oh, the greenies. We're going to end up in the same situation with the greenies. Let me put those aside real quick before they find them. Okay. Wait, is that box two? No, this is box two. Okay. What is this interesting thing here? A strawberry? Oh, DJ's going to like that. Okay. I don't know why. DJ just loves that strawberry bed. Look, what are you doing? You're chewing on the bag now? There's not a treat there. No, you're just, you're just trying to eat the smell of a treat that was there. Uh, oh, I'm going to know this is for Serenity because it has Serenity's name on that plaque in it. So that, that'll be okay. I can just put that right over here. Out of the way. Put this over here. Okay. Uh, these, I'm going to need a bigger box for this stuff. Here, it can go in there. Perfect. Okay, for now. I know you guys can't see anything behind that. You guys can see me from that camera up there. Hi. Okay, so here we have a strawberry plush pillow. And like I was saying, this is cute. It'll probably go really well with the strawberry bed that DJ loves to see the little kittens in. Uh, that's a cute strawberry. You sent us, ooh, a paper. Fantastic. Uh, from Ruth and Bob. Very cute. Hmm. Uh, okay, it's fun. I don't want to get sucked into this right now. I will have to read it uh, later on. 
Is your car broken? So are you. This is what I love about these. Is your car broken? So are you. Uh, this is what I love about these kinds of papers, these ads. They're wonderful. Okay. Uh, okay. This says Bob's from Skechers. What? Well, I don't know what Bob's from Skechers is supposed to really indicate. That's a, a weird um, collection of words. But it's a beautiful blanket that has, uh, on the one side, that really soft printed material with all these really cool cats on it with glasses. And on the inside, you can see it's got this super soft Sherpa. So that's going to be a really nice blanket that everybody wants. Uh, you know, the Sherpa material is something that kittens especially love, need, and, and nurse on. A lot of times you'll see them suckle on it. So uh, I know that's always a constant hit. And that's very soft. It's so floofy. Wow. And then this is great. Wow. You sent us a deluxe pet step three step design for small and medium sized pets. And it is a, a set of stairs for pets that says removable cover. Huh. Um, that's very nice. So you know that we use cat pet steps, uh, especially for our bed. But we often find other places that they need to be used as well. Right now, there's two of them in our bedroom, uh, one to the bed and one to the window box. So uh, that's wonderful. This is a different design than the ones that we're used to using, and I'm excited to see uh, how we get to use it and how well it works out for the kids, if it's better or not. So that should be super fun. Uh, that's, that's cool. Thank you. Um, I'm excited. DJ might be very excited about that as well, to, to try out something different for our little steps. Uh, there's also the fact that the, the one set of steps is going to need to be thrown away soon. Uh, we do replace the steps on a fairly regular basis every few years because they start to get worn out really bad. And in this case, um, the older set of the steps is not only super worn out, but it's been Teaspoon's hiding spot and uh, also his leaking spot. Uh, so it's not just messy. Um, it's uh, torn up and messy. And uh, um, yeah, it's, you know, it's hard to clean uh, inside those, those steps. Uh, so at a certain point, you're just like, all right, this is it. Even if I could clean it, like I said, it's all torn up too, so... Uh, so, so yeah, it's nice to have new steps coming in. we got something new to try and something to replace the steps that in, uh, inevitably uh, end up going away as well. Okay, uh, this box is currently empty and will make a much better box for stuff that's general reuse. So we'll get all that sorted in a minute. We only have one more box to open, so let's do that before we get distracted. If I can get it. I need some leverage to pick it up over here. Okay. There we go. Oh, okay. There we go. Perfect. That'll work. Hi, Ari. You guys should see how little Squall has decided to, to rest over here. Uh, I mean, it's not this. It's, it's cute. It's it's Squall. Of course, it's cute. Um, there's my phone. Let's take a quick picture so we have it. Just She's just climbed in the box among all the stuff, and she's just going to curl up and rest her head there on the edge of the box. Heavy head, take a nap. Very cute. All right, let me put that on Discord. We'll open this box. Hang on now. Oh, my phone's going to die soon. All right, I have to get it plugged in after mailbag. Okie dokie, here we go, the final box, interesting, all right, it's a lot of stuff, ooh, I think I see cookies, good, oh, what a way to wrap up a mailbag, okay, is this packing material, is there something in it, no, it's packing material, okay, there we go, the note, okay, there's a note right on top, that's perfect, the note has a cute little smiling white kitty on it, and inside it says, Dear Kitten Academy staff, faculty, students, and teaspoon, enclosed are a selection of kitten blankets and treats to use 
as you see fit. However, I've also included a special endowment for everybody's favorite mom cat of the year, Mr. A, and as a duder, Dr. DJ. Enjoy the coffee and maple bacon dark chocolate chip cookies. What? Oh, also from Pound Cake. Aw, oh, thank you. Pound Cake, Terry, Earl, and cats, uh, Olivia, Tiny, Mr. Boy, and Dr. Lucky. What great names. Mr. Boy and Dr. Lucky are fantastic names. P.S. My mom, Terry, wanted me to be clear that the blankets were made by her. She's a big fan, too. Aw, well, thank you very, very much. That's so nice of you. And maple, bacon, dark chocolate chip cookies. Well, um, the good news is those are all for me. I'm sure DJ is not interested, and I am super interested. Oh, my goodness. They look... Oh, wow, they smell. I can smell the maple. I didn't expect it to be that maple. And I can see the dark chocolate chips in there. Oh, my goodness. That is... And you sent a lot, so this will at least last me until this afternoon. After that, I might have to get some real food. Uh, whew, those are those are really cool. Uh, pound cake, that's... Whew, thank you very much. All right, so the blankets. Uh, this is a lot of blankets, too, so we'll take a quick look at each one. They're beautiful, by the way. They're made out of, like, this uh, flannel material that's perfect for kittens. And you've done a very tiny, tight and tidy little... Um, Oh gosh, I thought it was serge. This might even just be like a like um, a zigzag stitch. That's even more work. Uh, that's a, that's you put a lot of work into the edges of these, and they look very nice. That's some that's some tight work. So here we have a, like a travel blanket that's got little cars and roads and houses and airplanes and countryside and bridges, uh, campers. Very cute. Here we have some uh, cats that are little cat ink drawings, I guess. Very cute, uh, with little pink highlights for their cheeks and such, and noses. Uh, cute plaid with paw prints. Uh, white kitten, I'm sorry, white blanket with colored little kittens on it, especially like this little pink one here that's sort of leaning to the side with a very pleased look on its face. Uh, here we have some calicos, black, white, and gray kittens. Black, white, gray, and calico. There we go. All right. Now we have a custard. Oh, man, that must have cost a fortune to ship. Uh, we have this odd contraption. Oh, interesting. It says mobile mobile toy. Like uh, I think that means like mobile, like, uh, like you would put in a baby crib, though. And it does seem like that's what it is. It's a giant suction cup with a stiff uh, rod on it, and then just like you would expect... A little um, thing to have. It's got sort of an arched piece of metal with toys hanging off of it and uh, also a second piece that's also arched so it spins around like you would... Well, you can picture it. You guys have seen... Uh, that's pretty fun. I don't know where the suction cup would get put yet, but we will find a spot. It's kind of stuck on there right now. That's cool. Hmm. It would work real well on the glass table in the sunroom, actually. It would stick to that, or I suppose you could stick it to a wall, but it feels like it wants to be sticking, pointing up like that to me, so that's fun. All right, here we have a sort of a Halloween pink blanket with, uh, we got little witch kitties and skeletons and ghosts and happy smiling pumpkins and spiders and stars. Very cute. We have another Halloween theme here that's got a cat holding a pumpkin with uh, little fall leaves all around. And then we have a winter blanket that's a plaid with snowflakes. So we got all the seasons here, including uh, Mandalorian season with Grogu. Little tiny, it got all different expressions. It's very cute little expressions. Such a cute little character. And polka dots, classic. All right. Uh, then at the very bottom here, we have Churu, tuna variety. Perfect. Uh, where was the other chew? I don't know. Okay, I'll put this over here. And finally, ooh, green castle, traditionally roasted mountain grown coffee. And we have a Dominican Republic and a Sumatra. Mm. Hmm. These must be pretty tightly sealed because I don't smell the coffee. I just smell coffee store. 
Interesting. Uh, I'm excited to try it out though. Green Castle Coffee. Uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be really fun. I appreciate it. I'm excited to try it. I always love trying new coffees, but I'm really excited to try the maple bacon dark chocolate. In fact, mailbag's over. It's 11:52. I think I think I need to try one and just see what they're all about, right? Let's find out. I still got some coffee to wash it down. It has some strong maple going on there. Here, look, some of them have kind of broken up a little bit. I can just try the piece, right? The pieces, the calories fall out when they get broken up like this, so. Wow. You know, I like um, cookies and ice cream when it comes to either one. I like them to have a lot of stuff in them, you know? Like, uh, like Rocky Road's always better than vanilla because it's got nuts and uh, marshmallows and things in it. And these cookies are almost entirely things in it with just a little bit of cookie binder to hold them together. I approve of that. Hmm. It's really good. As strong as the maple smell is, the uh, the flavor's not it's not overwhelming. It's very good. It's perfect. That's a good cookie. I'm not getting a whole lot of the bacon, like smoky bacon flavor, but I am getting that little bit of salt that uh, really, it's perfect. It really sets off the cookie. Somebody just stole the balloon's uh, toy ring. I see. I gotta get this stuff put away. Mm. Oh, there we go. You got a little bit of the bacon texture in there. That's fun. Hmm. Wow. That is a good cookie. Okay. Let me get all this stuff put up. And uh, I'm also going to take off my mic now. Here. Okay. Please, this says for serenity on it, so that can go right in there. This is for us to figure out, so we can go right in here. I think these, I know, yeah, you're already excited about that. All right, let's, um, let's do put it 
I don't know if it's going to stay stuck to the floor in here, but I guess we can try. Well, I'm going to need something serious to get these zips off with, though. Hang on. thing to uh, put this on is one of those steel round plates that we have for the food but they're all all the steel flat round ones are in the dishwasher so I put it on this instead which is a solid fit except the base is thinner than the toy so they're probably still gonna knock it over right away but we'll see let's find out okay farthing's toy you guys gotta stop stealing everybody else's toys okay you got your own toy you have McDonald's at home, kids. These are going to go upstairs. That's staying there pretty well. I mean, it really stuck it in there good. Uh, let's see here. These are going to go downstairs for now. All the papers, I think. So, that is going to go that way. That can all go. Okay. I got this. Just last night I wanted something sweet and uh, I wasn't finding whatever I was craving so I decided to uh, melt some chocolate and I was gonna I wanted to put some chocolate on some uh, uh, Biscoff and then I couldn't find any Biscoff around here strangely enough we always have some so instead I put the chocolate on shortbread and some vanilla wafers that was okay uh, shortbread was better than vanilla wafers. Uh, and then, uh, what's the other thing? I found something else that was better. Than, oh, I just, I could just put on some dried cranberries and, uh, you know, like a handful of dried cranberries and almonds and then made a mess out of that. And that was really good. But I, the reason I mentioned it was having those Biscoff then show up today with the chocolate already on them was perfect. Of course. Might be a little bit before I get to those, those maple bacon cookies to get through. 
Anyway, uh, thank you all very, very much for everything. And even though I haven't got the last two boxes out of here, I'm going to wrap it up. We will see you guys next time.